hailing all the way from New York, almost didn't make it, but made it, and the winner of the coolest business card ever award. Look at that. Thanks. And we're pleased to have her here, Miss Natalie Gellman. Thank you. Thank you. So you heard some of that story, and um, I did do a lot of laughing as it was coming together, and I made it on to next flight. And um, the stewards, the flight attendants on my next flight were much better about about it, and I think they were through Mesa Airlines via U.S. Airways. But anyways, I guess it's on the record, so we should. <laughs> Actually, no, I hate U.S. Airways. There we go. It's on the record. Um, but anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna write a protest song against them. Um, this is a song to just deal with those times when things are, everything's going badly. And um, I, I, most of those times in my life are in airports and when I travel, because <laughs> you just have so many things to deal with. And one was a couple weeks ago. I was trapped in that storm on the 26th, coming back from Midland, Texas, to Charlotte, to Reagan. Then I was gonna go to Hartford and then to New York, because that's how they, we're gonna spin me around. And I ended up getting stuck in Reagan, DC overnight. And I woke up the next morning at 8 a.m. to take my flight at, to take my flight at 8 a.m. And at 7.50 they told us, the airport's still closed. You're not flying out, we're not boarding. So I went to go get coffee and the guy said, good morning, sir, what can I get for you? <laughs> and I said, thank you, I would like a cappuccino. Anyways, and it's just funny and I tweeted it because you have to laugh about that stuff when it kind of makes your day. But anyways, okay, this is Laugh So Hard You Cry.
off a flight. <laughs> you don't know that. I was kicked off a flight on the way here, and these guys were, were there. So in case you didn't believe it. I really do have a crazy, crazy life. Drama seems to follow me. And I, I learned a couple years ago that if you're the only constant, then it's you. <laughs> but I'm not sure I agree with that anymore. <laughs> because I really, I, I ask for, for balance and I ask the universe for peace around me. The Louise Hay, anyone else do the Louise Hay affirmations? Those are good things, good stuff. If you, if you don't know them, I can tell you all about them. Um, but, but on the way home from Serpa, I crashed into a street lamp about 30 seconds from the cabin that I was staying at. And you didn't know this? No. I knocked over a street lamp at 3 o'clock in the morning. And do you remember how I was telling everyone, I'm going to crash into a deer. I'm going to die on the way to the airport. It was bad. So I crash into the street lamp. I run inside into the cabin. And Carl, our sound man at Serpa, is asleep with his back on the, on the seat of the chair, snoring so loud. That's the only way I found him. And um, I'm screaming like, ah, I had an accident, ah! Like, it's very dramatic. And I was really frustrated and crazed about it. And so he came out and he's like, how did you do this? And I had, my GPS had asked me to reprogram it and started speaking French. And we're in the middle of a national freaking forest and the street lamp is there. So long story short, I didn't crash into any animals on the way home. There were so many on the way to Little Rock. And, um, I didn't tell the rental car company because Carl told me not to. <laughs> and all that happened to the car was the, was the license plate went from being pretty straight to like that. Like not, like you could barely tell. But the state of Arkansas had me pay for a street lamp. <laughs> and um, I'm so shocked I didn't tell you guys this. This is so funny. There's more to this story. I'll tell you later. OK, so anyways. I'm getting, I'm, I'm at the Little Rock Airport. It's like six o'clock in the morning. I'm still freaking out that they're gonna like find out and come and get me. And they go, will Natalie Gelman please come to the front of the aircraft? <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, they found out. And they know what airplane I'm taking. I go to the front and they're like, you're bumped to first class. <laughs> Except I'm flying from Little Rock to Memphis, which is all of 15 minutes. It takes me more time to get my guitar and my stuff to the front in first class. So, but they didn't, they didn't, catch me yet so that was good I get to Memphis and I'm done I'm like I'm leaving my guitar check my guitar and you guys know how difficult I am with that <laughs> not really but so I let them I just hand it over at gate check and I get on and they go I'm sitting in my seat I'm like I'm just done I'm just gonna sit here I don't want any drinks I want to pass out and go to New York anyways they go, well, the passenger who left their guitar at the front of the aircraft, at, at, on, the, on the jet bridge, please come to the front of the aircraft. <sighs> Freaking out now again. What did I do? What's going on? I go to the front, and this guy, Angel, the, the flight attendant, goes, this is no place for your guitar. I'm fitting it into this, into this um, cabinet, into their, their luggage cabinet and uh, their closet but you have to sing for us. And at that point, I had just come off of JetBlue's All You Can Jet Pass and had asked on every single flight, which was like every other day, if I could sing for them in the sky. And I was like, yeah, right, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get to sing for you guys. But I did. And so, anyways, this song is up on YouTube of me singing it on the flight. And there's, there's more of the story, but I wanna get to it. Street lamp musician, appropriately, right after I knocked over the street lamp in Arkansas. Flowers and cigarettes on Hudson and the river. Jet black and jet set to anywhere I'm going further than here. Feels like the harder I put my foot to the pavement. Less of me, you all see. in high heels, I watch them walk by me on 
streets that have been mine, but I don't know them anymore. Shops round here changing faster than seasons. People try, but it's just easy to Thank you.